Hey guys, it's Rainy. So today we're going to be making some lemon earrings. I'm going to show you how to make two options. For this, I'm going to be using some polymer clay. This is just plain white one. And I'm just going to be rolling this using my roller with my uh, rings on them. Those green things that you see on both edges. Uh, this is just to have the same thickness all around my clay. I do have the DIY for those if you want to check them out, but they are pretty handy. Then I'm going to be taking my Wilton 1M tip. I just cleaned this after using it. I'm going to be using this to get twice because it's a perfect circle. If you have like proper polymer clay tools and you have a round one, just feel free to use that one. I just don't have it. That's why I'm using this. Yeah, as I mentioned before, I'm going to be washing this after this. Then I'm going to be using this cutter. I'm going to be cutting each in two. Uh, so it's going to be like two pairs, right? In one pair, I'm just going to be making this holes on top of the like shape and the other pair I'm just going to do nothing to it I'm going to be as well making a small bowl and I'm just going to bake the bowl and my two like pears so I'm just going to be gluing my ear pasts like that after my bowl has um, cooled off I'm just going to be using my cutter and I'm just going to be cutting this in two I'm cutting this after so it doesn't lose its shape. Then I'm just going to be gluing my ear posts. And then I have here a pair of eye pins. And I'm just going to be gluing that on the back of each half. They sell like this kinds of ear posts with the loop. Just feel free to go for those if you prefer. Because they are easier. They are pretty much ready to use. But I didn't have any at the point when I was making these earrings. Just make sure you use a glue for jewelry. Because they tend to last longer. Then I'm just going to be painting the whole thing. First with my white acrylic paint thing giving this two coats this is how i'm painting the ones that have like a hole on them you can use a toothpick if you want but i'm using like my uh, dotting tool i do have the diy for this one tool then i'm going to be using my yellow acrylic paint first with my thin brush i'm going to be um you know painting the edges of it like that and then i'm just going to be using my big dotting tool you can use the back of a brush as well so i'm just applying one dot and then with my toothpick i'm just dragging the paint towards the top middle part of the half circle that i have and that is going to be creating the shape of the lemon. I'm going to be doing that all over the place. I forgot to mention I painted the half balls that I had. Then I'm just going to be adding some gloss using my Sculpey gloss and pretty much going to be uh, giving this a few coats until it's nice, shiny. And again, this is how I'm painting this pair. I'm just going to be using pliers and a couple of jump rings. So it's going to be like four jump rings. And with my pliers, I'm just going to be opening them, putting them first with the lemon part, then closing it, then opening the other one and bringing the whole thing together. So yeah guys, these are the two ideas that I want to share with you. This one being a bit more dynamic because it moves as you move your head. So much fun to wear. And this other one being the same like idea, but just doesn't move. Sometimes I just don't feel like wearing something like dangling. I just want to wear like earrings that don't move at all. And sometimes I want to wear something like a bit more dynamic or more of a statement. But yeah, I really hope you like them. They're pretty easy to make. So much fun to wear. They add something really cool and summery to any outfit. But yeah, I really like them. I hope like them too. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Check out more DIY earrings on my channel and subscribe for more. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye!